You may have noticed in some of uh, your recipes that it asks for the tomato to be either peeled or seeded or both. So I'm going to show you today how to do that. But before we get to it, I want to talk about why the recipe would ask to do that and what's the difference and is it even worth doing. So for peeling the tomato, usually it's about the texture. If the skin is really tough, and depending on what you're cooking, you want to remove the skin. And also sometimes, I don't know if you've noticed, if you made a soup, tomato soup or tomato sauce, uh, after it cooks, the skin just uh, comes off on its own and it's floating in your dish and it just doesn't look good. So that would be one reason to peel the tomato. And then also that it would be tough. So if you're gonna have it in a salad, you may wanna peel it if you're gonna eat it raw. And for seeding it, um, it's a couple of different things. It's uh, texture, it's the look, and also the taste. I know some people don't like that texture. Uh, for me personally, it doesn't bother me. So if I can, I will just leave it in my salad or soup or whatever it is I'm making. And that's if I'm cooking for just my family. If I'm going to be uh, cooking for a client, uh, I will go ahead and take the step and remove the seeds just so you don't see little white specks, for example, in your tomato sauce, which I'm going to be making a little bit later in another video. Um, so. Uh, what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do for um, peeling the tomatoes is, um, if you can see here, you zoom it in this section, okay, I'm going to core the tomato. I'm taking my knife, I'm holding it like this, and um, I just took that part out because we're going to cut it out anyway and it just kind of helps it when we peel. And at the bottom part, um, if we could zoom in with the camera, I'm going to just make a couple little slits, kind of like a crisscross, uh, on the tomato. It doesn't need to go really dip, deep, I'm just uh, cutting through the skin and that's all you need. Now, I have some uh, boiling water here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the tomatoes, actually one by one. If you're doing a bunch of tomatoes, it's better to just do it one by one. And I'm just going to drop it in the hot water. And it really only takes a few seconds for the skin to peel off. Okay, we're going to give that a little bit, a uh, couple more seconds. It really depends on how ripe the tomatoes are. Um, July and August are usually the the peak of um, when the tomatoes are ripe. So a lot of times the skin is soft and a little bit easier to move. And then also, you, if you're going to eat the tomatoes raw, you don't want to leave it in there as long because you don't want to cook it. But if you are going to put it in a sauce, then it doesn't matter. You could leave it in there a little bit longer. So right, I tested a little bit before I took it out, just kind of took my um, finger and just see if it's peeling off. And yes, it, sure enough, it is peeling. So all I'm gonna do is, you can just do it by hand, like this, or you can just take your knife and just peel it away. This actually, even though it is August right now and tomatoes, like I said, they're supposed to be at the peak of their uh, season, this tomato looks a little weird, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. Okay, so see how easy it is to just take the skin off? Now, to uh, seed it, what you want to do is cut the tomato in half. Uh, not this way, but along the equator of the tomato. So you have this, and I'll put these in here. Okay, and all you need to do is loosen the seeds a little bit so they'll come out. So you just take your fingers, best tool in the kitchen, and you just kind of squish it. If you have kids, they probably would love helping you with that. And then just squeeze out the seeds. So this, again, depending on what dish you're making, uh, taking out the seeds, not only does it look a little nicer, but also it uh, eliminates some of the moisture in your dish. So there you go, and that's just that easy. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to um, 
later on make a marinara sauce with these tomatoes. So uh, click on that video and uh, take a look. There we go. And that's how you see the tomato. Now this is ready to be chopped.